Hey guys, I'm going to show you uh, something special that you have to do now to be able to, be able to upgrade your Odo OWS project from 4.2.3 to 4.2.4. Unfortunately, there's a change to the gameplay ability system that now requires C++ code that I can't put in the plugin. It has to actually be in your game project. So if you're starting with 4.2.4, you're fine. The code's already in there. You're good to go. Uh, unless you try to add the plugin to your own project, and then you're going to need this code. Um, but if you have an existing project before the 2019-1210 project, you're going to need to follow this process. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, you will need Visual Studio 2017 or 2019 installed uh, before you can continue with this. So I have the 2019-1205. This is a 4.23 uh, version. And then I have the newest, latest 1210. Uh, so we'll start out by doing what we normally do, which is come in here and delete the OWS plugin. And then we'll come back out and we'll find the plugin folder here. Uh, this plugin, copy it. And then we'll go back out and we will paste it. And if you've watched along with the tutorial videos, you've seen that we do this every time we have to upgrade. I think the tutorial project may still be on 4.22. I'm not sure. Um, OK, so then we're going to come here. We're going to right click on the U project file. And we're going to say switch Unreal Engine version or change it from 4.23 to 4.24. OK, so this is normally what we would do. Um, however, if you do this, um, I'm going to show you what happens. And it's not pretty. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's this new undocumented feature that uh, basically kicks you off the server when you activate uh, gameplay abilities. So I'm going to open it up as is and show you what happens. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Yeah, because the binaries are. We could have opened up the SLN and run it as well, which we'll have to do if this crashes. We'll see. Sometimes it'll come up with a message saying, hey, we weren't able to build it this way, in which case you double-click that SLN file and go hit play. But hopefully it will be able to do it. It's because the binaries are still pointing to 4.23, and it saw that our engine is now 4.24. Um, I did forget to update the bat file. We're probably not going to use that in this video, but um, make sure you do that. Otherwise, when you go to click the bat file, you will get an error saying that it's... Actually, I think you'll get this thing saying that it's trialing to recompile your 424 back to 423, which obviously you don't want to do. So definitely remember to uh, edit the path in the open world local bat before you try to run it. Okay, it's going to work. Sweet. So you can see now it's on 424. Let me show you what happens. So remember, it always loses the run dedicated server. Anytime you update versions, you lose all your settings. That's fine. And I'm going to show you what happens. So you hit play. And we're running around. And so that one works, that one works, that one works. So uh, the ones that fail, this hit scan, if I hit 5 here, it's going to crash. Um, the projectile ones work. Um, I think that confirm works. So I think it's just the uh, hit scan one and then this one here where I can place something with F1. So I can press F1, move it around, and now watch what happens. As soon as I click, I get kicked out. And the, basically you're getting an error message here about this new feature called script struct cache. And it's a performance improvement, so it's cool that they're doing stuff like that. But it doesn't work. It doesn't work on its own. You have to add custom C++ to get it to work. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So while you got the project open, and this is how you can add any C++, by the way, <clears throat> uh, go new C++ class, show all classes, and the new thing we need to add is an engine subsystem, and uh, we called it my MMO character with abilities in this project, so we're going to go with my engine subsystem. 
and you'll want to make sure it's in your game project, not in the plugin. So we're going to put it in Open World Starter, which is our game project. Yours may be a different name there if you have it in your own game project. And we're going to say Create Class. This is going to fail if you don't have Visual Studio installed. Um, but if you do have it installed, it's going to add the code for us, and they're just going to make some minor modification. It's, it's real simple. We basically, it needed to initialize a system, uh, that struct cache system, and it's not do it doesn't do it automatically. So you have to do it. And engine subsystem is a good place to put it. OK, so it generated these two files for us here. And if we want to come over here, you can see that it split them out under private and public. So here's my engine subsystem H and my engine subsystem CPP. We're going to start in the H file. And we're going to come down here. And we're going to do public. The default would be private. Virtual void initialize. And then we'll do F sub system. The capitalization does matter. Collection base ampersand collection override. So we're overriding this virtual void method that is meant to be overridden. Um, we are then going to um, copy this right there and we're going to go over here and we're going to paste it <clears throat> but we need this u my engine subsystem so we get the right scope and then we want to make sure we call Super. And then we can add our custom code, which is U ability system globals, which we'll add the header file for later. Get dot init global data. And that sets up the cache for us. Now, this is not is going to complain because it needs the header file. We'll do pound include ability system globals dot h and that is available from the ability system because we have it set up already in our build cs this intellisense stuff sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't don't be worried if the thing doesn't go away there although i did spell it wrong so that might be why. Yeah, it actually did It did fix it there. OK, so we basically need to add this um, that we're going to override initialize. And then we override it. And we basically do what it normally does, plus one additional thing that we want it to do. I'm now going to close the project and hit play. This is actually the way I always run projects, by the way. I do not use uproject files. Oh, we got an error. <gasps> what did I do? Super isn't on. Yeah, I did something wrong there. Yeah, it was two. Sorry about that. Thought I hit two of them, but I didn't. Um, yeah, I always run. Um, I always run everything like. When I want to open my project, I open Visual Studio solution file and hit play. One of the nice things about it is that um, the engine crashes a lot. And about 90% of the random crashes, I can just hit continue. And I don't have to get kicked out to the desktop, lose my work. Um, it'll just, when it crashes, it'll kick you over to uh, a line here. And there will be the continue button will be highlighted. And you just hit continue. Now, some errors you can't continue past. It'll just keep going to a new error. Um, but those are probably only about 10% of the time. Usually, I can just continue through them, and, and it doesn't. it's not really an issue. They're just random memory errors. Uh, so that's one of the reasons that I do this. But then also, it allows me, when I'm working on code, too, I can just start dropping breakpoints here, like, hey, let's see when that gets called type of thing. So that's the way I do it. Um, 
you don't necessarily have to do it that way. Okay, so what we want to make sure is that it now fixed the issue. So we're going to hit play. And we're going to come back in here. And if we didn't fix it, it's going to crash. But look, it didn't. So anyway, that's all you got to do. Um, they made some changes. We'll see. Um, if you actually go find the source code for their changes, it's marked as unstable, untested still. So whether it gets undone at some point or not, I don't know. Um, but this is what we have to do for now. Otherwise, there's no using gameplay abilities in 424. So um, that is it. And uh, until next time, see ya.